Boom. Set. Hopefully I remember how to use this controller. That's the one thing I'm not like super like, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, guess. <sighs> Where's Yeti at? I could use Yeti in this. We're good. All right, boys. This is gonna be the first game right now. This is gonna be a scrim match between um, R E S versus Headhunters. This is uh, during the ESL. They actually played a game last Sunday. Um, actually, yesterday they played a match uh, for the ESL. They actually got together and wanted to do some scrims. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna commentate and spectate some of the scrims here for you guys. You guys are gonna go ahead and see some ESL teams play and scrim. Uh, hopefully, we get some good matches in, man. Everything good runs fair. And we're good to go, man. So here we go, guys. Let's get this game underway. Let's do it. Let's make sure everything. All right, first map today, boys, is going to be on uh, TDM Bomb on House Daytime. You guys know, very basic map. We got uh, we got this for the beta. We played a whole bunch of this map during the beta. It's probably one of the most common maps to uh, actually scrim on. Um... So yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, hit this up. It looks like blue team, which is going to be R-E-S, is going to be on the attacking side first uh, with the orange team, which is headhunters on defense side. We look like we got some standard play here. Frost, Smoke, Bandit, Rook, Doc. Uh, very, very standard, basic um, defense. Very, I mean, it has everything you need in, in a sense. Um, you got Bandit for the charges. You've got Smoke to, uh, to cut off some of the angles and the pushes. Three-minute round timers, guys. Three-minute round timers. So it's not four. Um... So that's another thing too. To so we'll go ahead. Let me get used to. Uh, let me get used to using this here real quick, guys. Um, so we got Rook already dropping stuff down in laundry room. We already know the first bomb site. B site is going to be in garage. A site is going to be uh, gym room. Uh, pretty much everybody on the low down. So I, I, I need to figure out how to uh, swap around on this. I'm probably going to miss a lot of uh, a lot of play here, guys. Trying to figure out how to use this. Um, but yeah. So let's go ahead. Let's zoom. Uh, let's go ahead and zoom up in here. I know I can zoom in with a trigger button, yeah. Alright. That's set. Uh, C4 is already going out. Standard procedure on prep stage. Uh, we got Hubble uh, protecting. Looks like he's going to be playing the stairwell of garage, um, of kitchen down to the gym room here. Uh, let's see if we got any drones in here. Um, nothing that I can see now. We got one guy in uh, kitchen. Kitchen area, side office, peeking down side street. Uh, doesn't look like anybody st uh, spawned there. So we have Cheesy. Cheesy's actually watching into Crimson here. Checking to see if he can get a quick kill on Crimson. Surely he knows he's there. Let me go and try to get a uh, let me try to get a spectate onto uh, onto Cheesy and see what he's actually looking at. Um, Crimson's watching here. Drones out by Fox. That's actually a really 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 good drone there. Um, there's got to be a way I can uh, I can swap around so that I can, I can Spectorino. Um, there we go. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty easy, man. Nice. Crimson's actually looking to play a little bit aggressive here. Blood and yeah, blood is now going in for the thermite plant. Oh, Bandit is right around the corner. EMP charges out. Let's see. Let's go ahead and rotate over to Bandit. See what we got here. That was a phenomenal charge right there. The EMP is going off. Are very sloppy right now. That's a double EMP. That's perfect. That's fantastic. He is he is clear, open to go. They're breaching now in the garage area. Uh, left side door is clear and open. Looks like Cheesy just gets taken out by Crimson. Crimson up on top. Just attacked from living, or not living room, sorry, uh, bathroom area down to the bottom here. Uh, Calvin's actually being pinched in on the corner here. Let's see if he's got any angles down here. He's holding down laundry room side. Uh, very basic, standard, standard defense right now. They already breached opening of garage as we speak. Crimson picks up another one on Giz. Giz knew that guy was up there um, trying to watch the corners, which is good. I'm going to fall back here. Uh, got a little misnate by Calvin there. Uh, now everybody fell back from garage side, and now they're playing a very defensive setting into the uh, B site. They're going to fall all the way back. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just chill here with uh, Crimson. Man, Crimson seems to know what he's doing when it's coming to the lurk here. He knows. He heard Bloodbath down there, so he's going to call out that they're coming in garage side as we speak. So you can already hear it. Calvin's pushing. Calvin's pushing through. Just going to get a little pop shots on those window seals. Make sure the guy's not coming over and play aggressive. We got 50 seconds here. Located the bomb. They have breached both sides, which is great. So now I can force uh, two different angles from outside. 
Uh, Pocho Man goes ahead and picks up one guy Attack outside. Gym room taken down. Bloodback goes and opens for the trade. Blood is outside. Uh, 30 seconds to go with no bomb. This round is almost over as we speak right now. Um, I don't know if he's going to save his AK or not. He'll probably do that for next round. But... We'll see. We'll see what he can pick up here. Uh, this right here, I, you, you only have 20 seconds. You have 20 seconds to go. Seconds remaining. There's no real time to go in there. You're not going to gunfight with these guys. So what the best thing for you to do right now... 10 seconds to go. Yeah. Right now is to get as much intel as you possibly can on how Five they like... Left. On how they like to play the game when it comes down to the very that last seconds. So you got 30 seconds to go. Blood's outside, and he's going to have to make an aggressive push out there. And then this is now bringing all the intel to the attacking side. So next round, they know if they get down to 30 seconds, the other team loves to play aggressive. Where possibly you could sit there for about 15 seconds. If it's a 2v2 situation or you know, so forth, you know that they're most likely going to be playing an aggressive. Um, so that intel, hopefully Blood can swap over and use that intel for the next round. Maybe guide his team and be like, hey, you know, this is what happened. You know, let's try to clean some things up here. We gotta watch Crimson. We gotta get Crimson off the map. He is causing so much chaos Defenders with the, with the lurks from from, from, from kitchen, attackers. from office building to the front stairs. I mean, he's pretty much free flowing up top. Nobody's having control. Nobody has control of the second floor and third floor. They're all outside. That allows Crimson to do exactly what he needs to do as a lurker. He can go off. He can play those aggressive peaks like that. He can rotate different angles, and it causes a lot of time off the clock. So that's something that they definitely need to get. They need. They need to kind of work with here. Uh, maybe dedicate one person to kind of go upstairs. Maybe dedicate two people to go upstairs and be like, hey. I, I, let's send a drone in for me. I'll go in first. We'll clear off second, second floor. Second I'll hide somewhere second floor, floor and wait for him to come through this window instead of trying to fight him outside. Something very, something, Barricade something that up. they might be able to work with a little bit. Here. Attackers are uh, going ahead and doing a little bit of, a little bit of free damage to Cheesy there. Uh, kind of rough, but hey, you know it's it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and do the overview here. Let's see blood. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on blood here. Blood's actually going to fall back from. Uh, looked like he was, um, yeah, he was, Cheesy's going back up now. Um, Cheesy's going up. This is, this is going to get real risky. Sorry about this, guys. This, this whole commentating, solo casting while trying to learn this is kind of rough. Um, so this is a throw, four-man setup. So we're doing a four-man here. If we can go ahead and find the last guy here. Last guy is outside sending the shock drones right now. So we've got a thermite. EMP charges out. Let's go ahead and work on Calvin here. Let's go work Calvin and see what he can do with this. He heard it go down. He's going to die from the shards. That's a good try, though. Uh, yeah, definitely gets a free... He gets a free charge right there. A, once, once you know that that charge goes off like that, you're going to have to roll out. You're going to have to. Um, it's something that you, you cannot force that. Uh, Pojo planting the bomb here. Getting down. Blood's uh, making a push into, into laundry. Looks like they're pitching two. Giz is off in the gym room. Watching an angle. That was a great C4 by Blood. Picks up the shielder. That guy was causing them a lot of issues. A lot of time off the clock. They're pushing here. Let's go ahead and uh, go first person with uh, blood here. Go first person, see what he can do here. We got three people. He knows this one. He's seen a grenade coming in. He's going to fall back from that grenade, which is good. We're going to rotate over here to Frost here using a pistol. Gets taken down by a hot from the outside. Uh, rotate over here onto hot again. Hot's playing extremely aggressive here. Extremely aggressive outside. This is a very, very strong defense outside. Pojo picks up another one on blood from the front of car. He is actually holding down laundry area. He is now pinned in, peeks his face, and hot goes ahead and picks up. Defenders neutralized. Picks up the kill on the laundry. So that act, that push was extremely good. That push was that push was phenomenal. To be completely honest with you guys, it was absolutely perfect. One, the shielder Montaigne gets a push in to keep, keep the guy out from laundry. He knew two guys was coming to laundry. Giz was in gym room watching the angle from gym from the hole. He actually missed his opportunity to kill the shielder. If Giz would have actually took out the shielder from Jim through that little hole, he would have been able to open that round up a little faster. They took about about 20 to 25 seconds just trying to get into that room themselves. So what happens is Giz needs to hit those shots. He needs to hit those shots. He knows you can hear a shielder coming in. And you have to just think to yourself that this is a Montang that's pushing. We know what he's going to do. His game plan is the same thing. He's going to put his shield up. He's going to place it there. He's going to make sure the team cannot fit Defenders through that door. That forces the team to have to go outside, attackers. possibly fight from different angles that, are, that, that aren't, aren't favorable advantages for the defending team, for the attackers. So that is something that they kind of need to work on as well here. Uh, score, 2-0. Uh, this is going to be a first to five, guys. First to five. They can still come back, guys. They can still come back. We're going to go ahead and see if they can adapt. If they can adapt on the uh, attacking side here. I know I know. Blood. 
I know Blood's here. He's got a drone up in here. This is actually a decent little place to drone here. Nobody has spotted this yet. He got, he's getting a lot of intel here. He's got two guys on backside uh, through the opening here. One's playing aggressive. You can hear the guy playing aggressive on the left side. Um, let's go ahead and swap here. Let's go down here. Let's actually figure out where their lurkers are. Where Where is... Where is... Where is Crimson? Crimson is playing uh, Cap Can. That's a very interesting pick. Let's go ahead and get on board here with uh, Mr. Crimson Death. See what he's doing. This is extremely good. This is it's an extremely aggressive play right here, guys. Extremely aggressive, especially from Hot. Hot's actually laying down in this little cheeky angle here. If they come through APC, he can actually pick him off. He turns the corner. He's giving away a lot by, by kind of pre-firing that corner like that. Cheesy already heard him coming. Uh, so he's going to go ahead and hold this angle. Fox is now rotating over here. Let's go ahead and check out Fox. Fox is already going to get all the intel he needs. That was extremely good angle there. That was a great, great angle. Um, so, right there, Pojo. Pojo goes in and picks up uh, Cheesy, like, almost instantly right there. So, the thing is, so Pojo goes in and picks up Fox as well. So, the, so what happened here, finally we get a trade out by Kelvin on the Pojo here, but Pojo did exactly what he needed to do. He did exactly what he needed to do there. They knew Blood's drone was on top of Bomb, knowing that two of those guys were playing aggressively in gym. They heard him rip down the thing, but nobody watched that angle. He was able to freely go outside and take him out, which is rough. We got a, we got a little pistol battle going on from Hot and Bloodbath. He's taking that here. Let's go swap over here to Giz. Giz is in a, a 1v4. So he's got a minute 45. He's seen one hit on the, on the bedroom. He's seen him again. He repeats him now. He knows that they have, they have angles on him right now. They know that you know they're playing aggressive in kitchen. He goes ahead and gets that first hit. That's a great tap. Here's Hot coming out on him right now. He actually spots Hot by the tree here. Goes ahead and spots him again. Hurt does a little bit of damage there. Misses a couple shots on him. He's going to fall back here down to APC. Play a little bit passive. He still has a minute 25 left. He sees Hot over here. Gets another headshot on Hot and Cold. This is back to what I was saying last round. Last round when Blood was in a, in a 1v, 1v4, he knew that they were playing aggressive. And it looked like Blood actually told him, look, guys, if this happens, they will be playing aggressive. They're going to be playing aggressive. Just chill back. Now, he turns this into a 1v2 with one minute to go. Crimson's up top. We'll go ahead and see what kind of angles Crimson's watching here. Crimson hears him running around up there. I think Giz actually spots him as well. Crimson might see a pixel angle on him. Going to go ahead and drop a C4. That was actually a really good drone by Giz. Giz actually spots him out. Uh, Crimson's going to have to dip out of uh, bedroom, head over to kid's room. He's going he's gonna to free float over here. Maybe, maybe he's going to force Giz over here. Um, down to 45 seconds on the clock here. Giz going to throw your random EMPs into the room. Maybe, maybe for like a distraction or something. Uh, Crimson's now going uh, front stairwell. It's a good little EMP there. Gonna pick up the bomb. He's got 30 seconds. He's gonna jump here. Let's actually take out Frost. See where she's at. Actually, nobody's in the room. This is actually gonna be an extremely, extremely good play for for Giz right here. If he can get in safely, if he can get in quickly, safely, drop this bomb. I think they're. I don't think they even hear him. No, he's still on. He's still on back stairwell. He now hears him. So Crimson's now giving a call out. Hub. Hub is now rotating over. They're actually going to push down there. He's got a breach here. He thinks it's up top. It's not. It's actually down below. Giz is actually going to get the bomb plant down on five seconds ago. He actually releases the bomb plant. Gets one kill on a guy down, pushing him on the gym side. And gets taken out by a trap on the top stairs by Frost. Well played. That's actually a really good round by Giz there. Uh, got, to, got to the point where it was five seconds ago. Actually turned that into a 1v1 after a 1v4. Uh, just so happens gets caught by a trap that he's seen at the last second. So it's kind of kind of unfortunate there. But... It happens sometimes, you know, when the, when the clutch situations hit down like that, you, you start getting a little panicky and everything. But he did a great job trying to defend it. That's actually a really, really good play. That whole that whole match, actually, the VIP of that whole match was Pojo. Pojo did extremely well coming out of the uh, the gym hallway. Gym hallway to catch uh, the guy on top of Treehouse. And then he also was able to re-peek again. He re-peeked again and got another kill on Fox. So he went ahead and got two kills which shouldn't have happened. For one, Blood had, like I said before, guys, Blood had, Blood had his Attackers drone in the room, the and he bomb. and he even heard him ripping down the doorway. So once you hear stuff like that, you have to know, you have to know, hey, that guy could potentially be playing aggressive. We have to have somebody watching that angle, especially if you want to play Treehouse. If you want to play Treehouse, you have to watch that angle. So we we'll go ahead and do basic, basic setup. I'm not, a, I'm not a. I'm, I'm not really sure. I, I, I don't really like. I don't really like the placement of. Let me zoom in here. I don't really like the placement of this ADS right here. So this ADS, it's right here on this laundry door. This ADS really isn't gonna do much good. I wish I could zoom in a little bit more. I think that's as far as I can zoom in, guys. But this ADS right here could actually be rotated to to maybe say this backside in case they want to chuck nades in on you. Um, but that ADS could also be useful. 
you know, you could put it, say, say maybe right behind the shield. You know, you do have one here. But that's going to get, that, that ADS is going to get shot. Um, that ADS is going to get shot when they breach this. This is all up to Calvin. So right now, this, right now, this is going to be, this is a cheesy Calvin. These, this is the meta game that's being played right now with Bandit and Jaeger right now. So he hears it go down. He places the first one. Let's see if he goes and picks that up. He actually does pick it up. Ooh, he did not pick it up. Wow, that was a little glitch there. A little bit buggy. Now look, they're now being flustered. That's three. There's three people playing car angle as we speak right now. Three guys playing car. Pojo's got a great shot on the front of car here. Fox goes ahead and drops a C4 on top of Crimson. Takes him out of the map. Uh, that was actually a C4 from kitchen area. Yeah, he's actually kitchen here. We're going to rotate off. Um, no, it was actually, my bad, it was actually uh, bathroom here. We do have three guys. We have three guys playing the one, the same spot. Hubble pulled off, got a kill on the blood, traded it out. It's going to be a 4v4 here. Mint's pushing in right now, gets down to half out. Pojo picks up Calvin from the front of the car. Giz gets taken out by Mint, playing super aggressive. Pulls to the back of the car, kills another guy on the front of the car. That's a double banger from Mint there, taking out Cheesy. Going to push in freely, and that's it. That's the end of the round there. They actually pinched him in from two different sides. Too many people, way, way too many people playing car. Not enough angles being held like that. Yeah, once, once Thermite actually double breached that thing, they didn't have anybody holding in laundry to watch that push. They didn't have anybody holding any angles. Uh, Giz actually played a little too aggressive there on that on that corner. I kind of got into a 1v1 fight with a dude there. And then Mint just turns around the corner and takes out the guy that was fighting Pojo outside. Very very clean round from Mint there. Actually, it was a very, very clean round from Pojo and Mint. They, they, it seemed like the communication with them was actually really good. It was on par. You could tell because because Pojo wasn't fighting a different angle. Pojo was fighting the front. He was fighting the front of the car. He knows that, guys, my main focus is front of car. Mint, you're going to run in. Mint, we're going to come over to the right. We're going to push to the back of the car. I have you covered from front. If he Defending peeks front of car, I will kill him. That was just extremely good teamwork and good communication between the two there. Um, Rook's going down here. Let's let's see what we got. We got four rounds. Zero to four on house here, guys. Attackers we got uh, one more round. One more round. It's over. First to five. First to five. And um, it's not looking too good for RES right now. Uh, looks like a little Attackers lack of communication. A little lack of droning as well. Um, not enough pairing. If you guys can watch H, if you guys watch HH play right now, HH are pairing up. They're playing. It. They're pairing really, really well. They're they're gunfighting the same. You know, they're not they're not gunfighting the same angles. They're not, they're not putting themselves in the same angles as well. And it it, it leaves it leaves a lot of. Uh, Please, there's no risk when it comes to that. They're waiting for you to fall into their angles, which is very, very smart. Oh, this cheeky Chonko play. Oh, let's check this out. Okay, this is... Okay, all right. Let's check out this little cheeky angle here. Let's go ahead and see. He's got Fox in his radar. Let me see if he gets a little little pixel angle. He does. He does. Oh, he does spot Fox. He's going to go ahead and just spray down that angle here. He's most likely going to have to get off the gun and take off. But yeah, this is, this is actually really, really interesting. Something, something that you probably won't really see much, but man, that was actually really good. Uh, Mint's gonna go ahead and place one down here. Uh, this is actually really good. This double up here. We got. Let's listen here. We got a we got a thermite charge on the other side. We got Bandit here placing one charge to bait an EMP. We have an EMP, one EMP out. Charge going down. Charge going down from thermite. Bandit charge going out, and he takes out. Does he take out the charge? I don't think he. I don't think he took out his charge. He didn't actually. Blood baits that down. Blood baits that down. They already lost a Twitch drone though. Twitch drone came in and zapped a player instead. Nice. Okay. He baited off the second one. Let's go ahead and rotate again. Yo, he actually rotates it to the first. Bandit picks it up. Oh, he actually just. He doesn't pick it up. He leaves it on the ground for a second. Nice. He clutches that. That double plant there actually is gonna open up the first door there. Crimson goes up and picks up Bloodbath from the outside there. Nobody's watching the angle. Cheesy goes up and picks up Poji. Cheesy gets that kill on the laundry, and they open up garage. So garage is now open. Let's go ahead and swap over here. Let's go ahead and check out and see what we got with. Uh, let's go ahead and check and see. We got Crimson's down. So right now it's a two v two. It's a two v two currently right now. We got two down. We got Mint and uh, Crimson down. They know he's down up top. Hubble's gonna go up there. There's only one guy. One guy is available in the room as we speak. Let's go ahead and flop to him. He's actually right here behind Boat. He's waiting. He's playing passively. We got Giz up top, repelling up, using a headshot angle, trying to get an angle on him. Looks like he does not spot him over there. I'm going to rotate down here for you guys. Fox picks up Crimson on the set. See, that's back to the, that's back to them playing the, the, the kind of flow charty where I'm coming into office. Here I come into office. Uh, you know he's going to come office. You can play a little passive there. Let's, let's uh, zoom in here and watch that. He actually misses the shot on the hot. Hot picks him up while he's using the headshot. Cheesy actually picks Mint up from laundry. They now know it is now uh, it is a 3v2. It is now a 1v1, and they know Hot is in garage. Hot's in garage. He's going to actually rotate over into the kill hole here. Tries to pick up a free kill on him. We got one coming down stairwell. We can hear him. 
Shots going hard in the... Oh, Hot is playing extremely good today, guys. He went in and got a flick shot. I'm trying to pick up his buddy here. Knows one guy is in the, uh, the hallway of Garage. Calvin breaches. He gets a headshot on Calvin, man. Hot is playing extremely good right now. Turn that into a 1v2. That is a 1v... What was that? That was actually a 1v3. A 1v3 at that time. And he actually turned that back into a 2v1. And picks his buddy up. It's extremely crucial. That They needed Attackers that. have recovered their diffuser. They know the bomb has been picked up. Uh, they know Giz dropped the bomb outside. He's going to hold this angle here. This is the only place he can come is through there. If he, as long as he holds his angle, Cheesy's not going to be able to plant this. There's no way. He's, he's going to peek him. He can hear the Five plant. He knows he's planting. He can see his head. He just seen his head. He actually missed his head. He actually missed his head. Dude, this could actually be a round. Uh, Chessies can win here. This, this could be extremely clutch on this part right here. He's going to rotate all the way back to Palm. Let's see. We got Hobles actually watching the far right side. Hot is down to fuck. He has no health. Picks him up. That's a 1v1 situation. He's going to fall back in the laundry. He's coming back in. He's actually rotating all the way around. He actually spots him. I think he spotted him. He's going upstairs. He's going all the way upstairs. We're going first person. Maybe he's going to run out top of uh, the window. The window's already broke in the office. It's not actually interesting. This is, he's going to spot He's going to spot him. He's going to hear him. He's on his drone. He hears him. He's being sprayed down. I saw he's actually playing very passive here. He has no time. The guy has no time. Just play it. Play it cautious. Play it cautious. He's gonna have to. He's gonna pick up the kill on him. He hits him twice. Fall back. Into the round. Attack Crazy. Good round. Good round on both sides. Good, good round on both sides, man. He's gonna go and pick up one round there. Gets a couple shots in him. I'm not 100% sure how he didn't kill him at the start, but it was good. That all went down to just like a cluster at the end. That, that just that that turns into a giant scramble. Yeah, it definitely was was a great round for both, man. It was a good clutch round. He kept his cool. He planted the bomb. He seen him, man. That's that's the bad thing. Oh, man, Hot seen him. Hot seen his head. He got lucky, too. Hot seen his head, and he second-guessed himself there towards that end right there, and he ran uh, thinking it was planted in gym. Um, little, you know, little, a little little, bit of a misplay there. But, I mean, you can't really you, you can't say much about that, though. Let's be honest, guys. He did pick up a double kill there. He, he actually gave his team a super, super good chance to win that round right there. Uh, we're actually rotating it now. It looks like bomb is being placed uh, B side, so it's going to be kids room and construction. So now, um, everything's being rotated. So everybody, we have seen garage. We have seen the garage play. We have watched the garage play. Now let's see how they can hold. Let's see how RES uh, handles uh, the upper part. They have already C4 uh, openings of two rooms here. Uh, first room here in kids room and in the closet, just in case they do breach into... Uh, bedroom here so this is really yeah, good this, is waste, this, th this does waste two c4s but since the other team's not really utilizing shielders you really don't need your Five c4s uh so this opens up two free spots i can come i can run through construction i can i have an angle through construction Attack door i can shoot in case somebody comes kids room also if i'm playing in bedroom here and i need to um figure out how to rotate my camera again uh, oh there we go for my button there um, so there's one guy. Okay, so they have one shoulder. So ooh, this might be a little rough, but we'll see. So this this opening here is like these two these two C4s are placed really 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 well. Uh, they hear crimson Attackers below. They hear him. The I know. Team. I know for a fact they hear crimson down below. Let's uh, let's go on board with Fox here. Looks like Fox has a C4 already primed, ready to go. He gets droned out. I, he did not even care about the drone. Hubble picks up another guy from the backside onto. He was actually, I think he's in Treehouse. Was he Treehouse? I want to say he was Treehouse. Picked him up Treehouse and then and then dipped away. Uh, I have a controller, guys. Yeah, I'm using a controller right now. It's a little a little inter interesting to use. It's like the first. This is like the first time I've ever casted a game as well. So bear with me, guys. This is free free spectate. Uh, solo casting as well. So we got Crimson down to half health. Mint's down to half health. Fox goes ahead and spots him. Doesn't hit the shot on the men in bedroom, but he does gonna call out. He is gonna call out that there are two people there. Uh, Blood is actually rotating all the way around. We're gonna go ahead and go on board here. He actually spots a guy on stairwell. Misses uh, almost an entire clip of him. I don't know if Blood's flustered right now, but normally he never misses that. But they hear. They know. They're. They know they're in. They're, they know they're in a uh, bathroom right now. That's that's double kill. We got one on Blood, one on Sheets. That's a trade here. We got one in uh, bedroom. One's bedroom. He knows he's bedroom. He heard him bedroom. Uh, one fell off the roof. Oh, that's a mistake right there. That is a huge mistake. He's gonna have to run out. This is gonna kill a lot of time here. Uh, this is actually super lucky for Arius. Uh, Arius here. Um, but that actually that actually killed about 30 seconds off the clock. Now they're gonna have to get reset. Um, let's go ahead. We got we got Cheesy holding. Uh, this is actually a really good placement on the shield here. 
Um, he can watch this bedroom window. He can also watch bedroom door to, to kind of push out into the opening here. This is actually really smart. And he also has the backside blown up too. So if he needs to, he can rotate and play. Uh, drone's coming in though. Yeah, we got a drone. It's going to spot him out. Yeah, he's got his his whole covers blown now. See if he can actually take out the drone. He actually does not take out the drone. Looks like one's coming into uh, two in kitchen right now. Uh, blood is still down below, waiting, holding the angle, trying to see if he, anybody's gonna be playing a little aggressive here. Blood actually might have an angle here on Hubble. Gonna peek through here. They're gonna ro rotate into bedroom. These they're using the C4 to their advantage now. Yeah, definitely using a C4 to advantage. Let's go ahead and check out Thermite, see what kind of angles he can see here. He, he's very risky. This is very risky trying to peek this. He knows there's a guy in hallway. I know that he's droned it out. So he's set here. He might have seen a glimpse of the shoulder there. Possibility. He's going to run into the room to the corner. He's going to plant the bomb. you got to watch out for that frost trap. Bomb is being planted. Let's go ahead and see what uh, Blood is going to see left. what kind of things he can do here. He's going to push down, swap Attack his weapon. Activating the Gassing out. That's yeah, a clutch kill by Cheesy here. It uh, looks like Bomb's being planted down here. Uh, one is pushing bedroom. He's in closet. They might not even know he's in closet. All right, I'll let this man out here. Blood actually sees him in closet. He's taking it out. And then a hand grenade by Pojo Defender takes it and ends the round. 5-1. A good game. That was an extremely good hand grenade from Pojo. That was super clutch. Very nice, dude. He knew they were going to have to come in for the bomb. He went ahead and threw the grenade in there. Just so happened... Just so happened, Jizzy was sitting on the stairwell and just gets caught. Right. That's the first game, guys. That's That was HH versus RES. HH, uh, Headhunters went ahead and took the first game 5-1. Uh, we go ahead and check out the uh, the scoreboard here. Um, so we've got uh, 7, 8, 5, 5, and 4. Uh, Crimson, Mint, Hubble, Pojo, and Hot. Both. Those are those two are VIPs. 100% VIPs this game. They, they had some extremely good rounds. Very, very, very clutch rounds. Um, that really brought some of those rounds back which was really really good um having having that having that 1v3 situation and your teammate was down in gym he rotated over to the kill hole killed one of them on stairwell flicked around killed one on stairwell then killed the guy in hallway extremely extremely clutch round from him um so that's good man yeah he's a vip yeah he's a vip dude we're protecting we are uh, we're protecting pojo pojo and uh hot and cold yeah yeah, we're protecting them. Looks as if they're protecting their team at this point, man. That was a pretty hard carry by those two, so that was extremely good plays there. Um, RES, man, RES had a had a couple good rounds there too. I mean, um, don't get me wrong, um, 